Thanks for joining us this week on DesignWorks TV. Today we're going to be talking about the integration of DesignWorks with Artec Studio 11. If you're a user of the Artec products, you're using Studio. Studio 11 is the brand new version that just came out here, and we're going to show you how this integrates directly from DesignWorks to SolidWorks. So in this case, we've got our mesh that was scanned. We're simply going to come over here and say File, Export to SolidWorks. If SOLIDWORKS isn't open, it automatically opened, and DesignWorks will open the mesh. If SOLIDWORKS is already opened, then it'll just import the mesh. So here's our mesh file. DesignWorks Pro Mesh can handle these types of files, as well as full feature base and prismatics. So let's take a look how we would do something complex like this scan of this face. We're going to utilize the mesh features tools. And it utilizes all the nice tools on Windows. So we're going to simply do a control A and select everything. Now the back of this was just filled in because this was a real person's face. So we really don't need the back of this. We're going to use one of our paintbrush tools of many. And we're going to make this a little bigger. And we're going to come over here and simply deselect by holding the control key and get rid of the back. Now we're going to go ahead and utilize one of the feature tools for surfaces. The surface tool is very intelligent. It can map out a surface over very complex shapes. So we're going to come over here and select surface. DesignWorks is going to show you the processing time and as it processes we'll also go through and show you real live deviation from surface to mesh. There's other tools over here for doing full feature base such as plane, face, cylinders, in this case, we just use the surface tool. The surface tool can be used to split this up into one surface or multiples. DesignWorks is intelligent. It knows if you only pick one, if it needs multiples, it will go ahead and split this into the max amount needed. Then we can utilize this directly in the SOLIDWORKS tree and go use any type of tools in SOLIDWORKS, mold tools, whatever. One thing you don't have to worry about we do not break this up into thousands of little triangles so that you can't work with it. We break this up into the most usable amount of surfaces needed to form the mesh. So DesignWorks is about done processing. It's getting ready to show the visualization and we'll be able to mouse over real time and show you any deviation from part to surface. If that needs to be changed, there's tools over here in the window to change the node count, tolerance, and things like that to make the mesh fit tighter. On more artistic parts like this, the model can be changed and simply modified. So let's go over here and take a look at a real-time deviation from surface. You'll notice that it fits the surface really well. In most cases, we're holding tents. A couple areas over here, there's some undercuts, but again, we can see what the deviation is. We're holding about seven. Now we could tighten that up by coming back over here and changing this, but in this case, that looks really good. So we're simply going to put this in the SOLIDWORKS tree and there's your native surface. We can actually do a show of just the surface, hide the mesh. There is your native SOLIDWORKS surface. So you're probably asking what can you do with this? Whatever you want to in SOLIDWORKS. In this case we had a couple planes over here in the event we wanted to maybe go make a plug for this, we can simply pick that face and say sketch. We'll line this up a little bit and we'll say let's just go draw. So this is draw inside of here to show you that this is a real native SOLIDWORKS surface. We're going to go ahead and just simply draw inside of here. It has to be a closed profile. Follows all the rules of SOLIDWORKS. And we'll simply go ahead and say up to surface. Showing you that this is the real native SOLIDWORKS surface that was created. There you can make your plug. We can hide the first surface or suppress it either way. So there it is, DesignWorks ProMesh integrated with the Artec Studio 11. Direct connection. 
Tune in next week for more Design Works TV and have a great day.